Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named How to Evaluate Your Education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about Shear Moment Diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FU materials. If this sounds something that you might need, click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. What is the equation of the line shown in the figure? The equation of the straight line in the xy plane can be described in various ways. Slope intercept form, double intercept form, two point form, slope and one point form. In this case, where this line intersects the uh, xy axis in two points and we're given the points, the easiest way to solve this is to use the double intercept form. And this is expressed as x over a plus y over b equals 1. And results, we have x over the x-intercept is 8 plus y, and the y-intercept is 5 equals 1. And here, results, if we multiply this by 40, we get 5x plus 8y equals 40. Or we can also write this as 5x plus 8y minus 40 equals 0. And the correct result is d. If you're not familiar with the double intercept form, this equation can be also expressed using the slope y-intercept form. The y-intercept is five. So let me write down first, this is option number one. This is the double intercept form. And if you're not familiar with this one, I would express this as slope intercept form. Okay, and the slope intercept form is y equals to the slope mx plus b. And we know that y intercept is five. The only thing we have to calculate is the slope. The slope is given by delta y over delta x. It's also called rise over run. And this is equal to 0 minus 5 over 8 minus 0 and equals to minus 5 over eight. And the equation of the line equals to the slope, which is minus five over eight x plus five. And if we are gonna multiply this by eight, we get eight y plus five x minus 40 equals zero. If we rearrange this, we get 5x plus 8y minus 40 equals zero. And again, we got the same thing. And the correct answer is D. That's it for today. 
it was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.